Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zoe and I'm so happy that you found my little corner of the internet where I love to talk about books. Okay, so Valentine's Day is quickly approaching us and I feel like everybody's scrambling to read romances last minute that are gonna make them really happy and just be really lighthearted for the holiday. So I decided to go through some of my favorite romances that I've read and give you guys some recommendations on what you could read for Valentine's Day if you're looking for that perfect book. There were so many different options that I could have chosen from and it was honestly really hard to narrow the list down but I tried to only pick things that were going to be like really happy and uplifting because nobody wants to feel sad on Valentine's Day. So I chose I believe 12 books and I made it a good mix of YA, adult, and added in some closed door as well so there's a good mix of everything so hopefully everybody can find at least one book that looks interesting to them. Also, if the lighting is kind of like weird colors, we are working with artificial lighting right now because I have been unable to film during the day lately. <laughs> so we're just going to ignore that. So let's just get into what all the books are. Okay, so we are going to start with the queen of YA rom-coms, Miss Lynn Painter. Every book of hers honestly feels like Taylor Swift lover vibes, which I feel like is something we're all really going for when we're trying to pick good Valentine's Day reads. And the first one that came to mind, which is probably my number one suggestion out of this entire video, is The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. This book takes place on Valentine's Day, so it's actually really perfect for the holiday, but it is basically a Groundhog's Day meets Ferris Bueller's Day Off rom-com. It follows Emily and Nick. Emily is expecting to have this perfect Valentine's Day with her boyfriend, but everything goes wrong, and then she wakes up the next day reliving Valentine's Day and she gets stuck in this time loop and she's not sure how to get out of it but she befriends Nick and they spend a lot of time together and she finds that maybe he is the key to getting out of this time loop and moving on with her life. This one is really really cute, lighthearted, and fluffy. I feel like everybody I've talked to who's read it has just adored it and I did too so I think this is a perfect option. And then of course we have the obvious option for Lynn Painter, Better Than the Movies. This book is literally like a cupcake. It's so happy and fluffy and lighthearted. It's basically a rom-com movie in a book. It follows Wes and Liz who are neighbors and they've kind of grown up as like frenemies. And then it turns into a she's all that situation where Wes helps Liz get the attention of her crush. But as they spend more time, they realize that maybe they're more interested in each other than the people that they thought they were into. And it's just really cute and sweet. Every chapter starts with a quote from different rom-com movies. And I think, honestly, you cannot go wrong with this book. Everybody loves it for good reason. My next suggestion is for anybody who wants to read something shorter or doesn't have as much time to read, I would say read Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. There are four books in this and they are graphic novels so you can read them in like 45 minutes and they are literally so fulfilling to read. They're so happy, so sweet. I just love everything about Heartstopper. And there's a TV show that is incredible. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix, but I would highly recommend reading this at some point, whether it's for Valentine's Day or any time of the year. It's boy meets boy, Nick and Charlie meet at school when they sit next to each other in class and quickly fall in love. And it's not just romance. It definitely explores other things like sexuality and friendship and navigating your way through your teenage years, but it's so fluffy and cute and I cannot recommend it enough. My next recommendation is one that I feel like is very underrated and it makes me sad because it's such a great book. It's Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. This follows Kate and Jack who meet at a party and fall head over heels for each other right away and quickly fall in love. But then, this is going to sound like a spoiler but I swear it's not, Kate dies and Jack is absolutely crushed and he somehow gets stuck in this time loop where he gets to relive their relationship over and over again until he can find a way to try and save Kate or change the past and it's a really beautiful story. It does get a little bit sad at times. This is the one suggestion I have that like is a little more heart-wrenching than the others but it is so worth the read. It's so underhyped. I feel like like nobody talks about this book and they should because it's just amazing and it's a really, really sweet love story that I think would be perfect for the Valentine's season. 
The next book is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I feel like a lot of people may have read this one or they've seen the movie Love, Simon, but I wanted to suggest it because it is so fun to read. This follows Simon, a high schooler who has this seemingly perfect life other than one giant secret that he is gay. And he feels really alone in this until somebody from his high school posts online that they also have this huge secret that they're gay. And Simon and this other person start messaging each other and eventually become really close. But Simon wants to meet this other guy and he's afraid. So it kind of follows their relationship and navigating their way through coming out to their friends and their family. And it's a really fun, lighthearted story for Valentine's Day. I think a lot of people would enjoy it. And it is a really quick read. So I would definitely suggest reading this. My next suggestion I feel like is a very obvious one for Valentine's Day, and that is the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy. These books are so fun and lighthearted. If you haven't read them before, I highly recommend it. There are three of them, as I said, and they're all fairly quick reads because they have really short chapters and they're only just over 300 pages, so I feel like you could really fly through them. And they're just so fun. And then when you're done, you could watch the movies on Netflix, which are also really great. But if you don't know, these books follow Lara Jean, who has written a love letter to every boy that she's ever loved in her life. And she keeps them hidden away in her closet. They're very secret and special to her. But one day they accidentally get sent out to the different guys. And <laughs> she understandably gets very nervous about this, knowing that these boys now know her biggest secret. But she learns that maybe it wasn't such a bad thing after all. And it just turns into this really cute, fun romance. And I think these are just a no brainer if you're looking for the perfect Valentine's Day read. Okay, so that was it for YA suggestions. Now I'm going to move into the adult recommendations and I'm going to start with my closed door recommendation, which is Sarah Adams. I would highly recommend all of her books. They're all so lighthearted and fluffy. And every time I read them, I just get this really special feeling that you don't often find with romance books, which is really fun. But my main suggestion is When in Rome. So this follows Amelia, who is a burnt out pop star and decides to take a weekend trip to clear her head until her car breaks down in this little town called Rome, Kentucky. The person's yard, who she ends up breaking down in, is named Noah, and he is super grumpy, but he finds the kindness in his heart to let her stay with him until her car is fixed. And over these next few days, they end up spending a lot of time together, getting to know each other really well, and sparks fly. It's super, super cute, super fun. It's not cheesy like you would think it would be cheesy, but it's not. Sarah Adams is the author of The Cheat Sheet, if you've read that. This is one of her more recent books, and it's literally so fun, so happy, and you cannot go wrong with any of her books. So I highly recommend her if you're looking for a closed door book or any book that's just going to make you incredibly happy and giddy. The next book is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. If you haven't heard me talk about this one yet, you must be new here <laughs> because I have gone on at length in several videos now about this book, but this one is so special to me. It's such a precious, sweet love story. It's about Matt and Grace who meet in New York when they go to college and quickly fall in love, but then after college, they don't talk to each other for 15 years until they see each other again one day on the subway and reconnect. And it's just a really, really sweet story. There's a really good plot twist at the end that I feel like most people would never see coming. And Matt, I love him so much. He's so, so sweet. And one of the best book boyfriends, I feel like. I just really, really loved his character and this entire book. I think it's definitely worth the read. It's back and forth timeline. You spend a lot of the time in the past during their college days when they were falling in love, and then you end the story in the present as they fall back in love again. And I just think this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. It's not too long and you could read it really quickly and have a great time. The next book is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. This follows Alexis and Daniel who come from completely opposite lives. Alexis lives in the city, she's a doctor, whereas Daniel lives in this small town called Wakan and he has a very laid back lifestyle. But somehow they end up connecting and falling in love. They have this long distance relationship and they really care for each other. But Alexis's parents don't approve of Daniel and expect her to be one of the head doctors at her hospital and take her job more seriously so she can't just up and leave 
her city, but Daniel can't up and leave his town either. So it basically comes down to, is Alexis more concerned about pleasing her parents and doing what they expect of her or following her heart with the person that she loves? This book is so sweet. It is reverse age gap, small town, really, really sweet romance. I love Daniel, adore him so much. Um, there's a baby goat in it that wears pajamas, which I found to be really, really cute. I feel like the writing is really good and this is just one of like the best romances I've ever read. And I just really fell in love with the town that Daniel is from and the romance in this book. I feel like it's a unique one. It doesn't follow the same plot as every other romance book and it just, I really fell in love with the story, so I definitely recommend this one. Next we have Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson. This is a book that I feel like you might expect to be more geared toward like fall, but it definitely is not. It takes place during the summer, so don't let that mislead you and stray away from it now, but I think this book is perfect for Valentine's Day. The cover is just adorable, and I feel like it's a really good love story for the holiday. This isn't one of like my favorite books I've ever read, but I would definitely recommend it for this time of year. It follows Phoebe, who is a PhD candidate and true crime junkie, and her father has just passed away. So she's moving back home for a few weeks to clear out his house with her brother. And when she gets there, there is this guy <laughs> that tries to help her bring some stuff inside, but really freaks her out. And it just turns out to be the next door neighbor, Sam, who she is now convinced is a serial killer. So Phoebe spends the next few weeks kind of freaked out by him while Sam just tries to get to know Phoebe and he turns out to be something a little more scary than a serial killer to Phoebe and that is somebody who can open her heart and make her fall in love. <laughs> and I just think this is a really fun, sweet romance. It's very funny, it's definitely a rom-com and I fell in love with the characters and the story and I think you could too, so. I would definitely recommend this and honestly this is like the best cover for a valentine's day book i think so read this one and then we have the soulmate equation by christina lauren this is one of my favorite christina lauren books i've read i feel like this one is very different and unique from their other books this one follows jess who is a single mom who has been looking for love for a long time but has not had the best luck finding it so when she hears about this company who can take your dna and find your soulmate she gives it a shot and ends up matching 98%, which is literally unheard of, nobody's ever done that before, with the founder of the company, River, who she has butted heads with in the past. So she's kind of not sure about it, doesn't think it's real, but the company offers to pay her if she will spend some time with River and see what happens. So she obviously agrees to, and sparks fly, love ensues. It's a really cute romance, and it's just really perfect for Valentine's Day, in my opinion. I feel like you can't go wrong with Christina Lauren in general around this time of year, but this one especially I would recommend. It gave me butterflies, it had me swooning the whole time, I just really loved River and Jess and her daughter are literally so adorable. They're like the cutest mother-daughter duo ever in a book. And there is actually a sequel coming out this year um, that follows the best friend in the book, Fizzy, and I think you should read this one so that you can read the next one. So that is definitely high up on my list of recommendations. And then my last suggestion, which I guess is technically YA, but I put it in this section, is Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. This is probably my favorite Colleen Hoover book. It's really, really sweet. I feel like the story is really different and it shocked me. So I still think about it all the time. I read it like a year ago and it never leaves my mind. So this follows Bea, who comes from poverty and kind of a messed up family life um, and she goes to spend the summer with her dad before college and there she meets this guy Samson and they kind of get off to a little bit of a rocky start and they don't think that they're going to get along very well for the summer um, but then they end up spending more time together and find that they actually can connect on a really deep level about some stuff that had happened over their lives so they agree to have this little summer fling and it's they have this really, really sweet romance until, of course, queen of plot twists, Miss Colleen Hoover, throws a wrench in everything. Chaos ensues, you have no idea what's gonna happen, and it gets a little nerve-wracking for a while because you just come to love these characters so much, but this book, I will say, has a happily ever after, as many Colleen Hoover books do, and I think it's just a really great book to read for this Valentine's Day season. It's not too long, it's a really quick read, and it's just so heartwarming. I love it so much and I can't recommend it enough. 
So those were all the books that I thought of to recommend for Valentine's Day. I feel like there are so many more that I could talk about, but for the sake of time, that's all I'm going to go with today. But I hope you can find something that will make you happy to read for the holiday. And yeah, I just want to point out not to like fall for Valentine's Day. It doesn't matter if you're single or in a relationship. Who cares? All that matters is that you love yourself and hopefully you'll be surrounded by the people you love on that day. But either way, I hope everybody has a really great Valentine's Day and don't be too hard on yourself. If you want to talk about anything books, feel free to comment or as always, my socials will be linked down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.